I'm going to walk you through how to edit this holiday drag and drop matching template. So you have two slides on your screen and the first one is where you're going to customize your directions to whoever is doing this puzzle. So first you type your skill name. I'm going to say solving two step equations um, and you can customize this box. So just because I typed that and it went down two lines, um, I might want to keep it that way. I might want to change the font. Um, you can really just kind of customize this whole thing to be how you like it. And then type directions here. This box, of course, can also move around. And I included a sample. So what you'll want to do is delete out that top part there. And you can put your numbers back in. So I already had directions typed for matching equations. And you can leave as is. You can just change out some of these words. So if you're doing solving, if you want to do fraction operations, you can say on the following slide, you will solve fraction operation problems by matching expressions to answers, dragging the puzzle pieces around. You can completely customize this. You can make it a little bit bigger if you'd like. Um, again, drag it around. So this will be your directions page to the students who are completing the puzzle. Now the next page, you have these given to you already put together. And obviously you don't want to leave it this way because um, the students will be able to, you'll be giving it to them already done. Um, and also I have it set to where A is matched with one, B is matched with two and so on. And you don't want to do that either. So my first recommendation is to move all of these red pieces out of the way. You can leave the A through J where they are, but move these out of the way and then just randomly um, match them up just so you can make your questions. So they don't have to be matched perfectly. Um, but we're going to do that here. So this is going to be your answer key before you even have any questions written. So we're going to randomly put these in here. And of course, once you do this, if you don't like um, a certain pair of letters and numbers, or you think there's too many that got put together that are in a row, you can certainly move things around. All right, so now, as is, this is my answer key. So since I am doing a puzzle on solving two-step equations, I'm going to come up here and grab a text box, and I'm going to type in my first equation. And just as with the first page, you could customize this, you can center it, you can make it bold, um, you can do whatever you'd like here. Since I'm doing equations, they're a little bit big for the spot. So you can kind of turn them at an angle if you want. You can make it completely sideways, although that might be a little bit difficult for students to look at. Um, or you can just make it small enough to fit. So we'll turn it, make the font smaller, and you can even slide it up like this. So there you go. And for some, it might be easier if this was in white, or it might not. It might be easier to see if it's in black. That's up to you. So what you're going to do is um, you've got that. Then we're going to get our answer. And um, in this case, the answer is 1 half. So there you go. You've got your question and your answer. Now, again, you are making your answer key right now. So once you get this done, um, take a screenshot of it, write it down on a sheet of paper, you, like B will be matched with six and that's the answer. But then you're going to want to mix it up. So you also need to lock your question or your answer onto the uh, piece because if I pull this right now, it doesn't bring the answer with it. So you're going to select the puzzle piece and then shift, select your answer or question then right click group and there you go. So now when this moves, that moves with it. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to select the puzzle piece, shift, select the equation, right click group, move it. And you're moving it out of the way so you know it's done. And then that way they're going to be nice and mixed up for later. So you can just duplicate so what I did here is I just highlighted the equation part, not the whole thing, just the equation part, and I'm on a Mac, so I hit Command-D, and it duplicated the equation. So this way I know the formatting and stuff is the same. 
Um, so we're going to bring this over here. I'm going to type my next um, two-step equation. So I will say 3x plus 1 equals 7. I'm just making these super simple right now. So um, I can quickly show you how to do this. And then I'm going to come over here. In this case, the answer is 2. Same thing. Select the puzzle piece, shift, select the equation, right click, group, move it. Select the puzzle piece, shift, select the answer in this case, right click, group, move it. So you want to make sure um, that you don't have any equations or any problems with the same answer, obviously, because that will mess up um, your key. So I recommend deciding how many pieces, how many questions you want to have done first and write out your questions on a sheet of paper with the answers. That way all you have to do is type them in. You have up to 10 questions here. If you don't want to use them all, that's completely fine. So let's say I just want this to be eight. I can go through and delete the last two letters if I want, which are I and J, and then I could delete cards um, nine and 10. So if I wanted to do that, so my snowman will end at H and my red cards, my answer cards will end at eight instead. Then you just rematch them up and then now you're left with only eight. So you're going to go through this until everything has a question or an answer on it. And then you can organize these on the page however you want. So we're just gonna pretend that all these greens have questions on them and all the reds have answers. So you could slide all of your greens up here so they can be matched in the middle. You could even honestly overlap them a little bit if you wanted to. And then you could have all of your reds down here. The reds are slightly transparent, so you can see through them a little bit. And then um, students can just move things around as they need to. So let's say they pull this down to the center. They found, okay, well, the answer to that is this card. And, oops, I lost the answer there. There we go. And then once they do that, your students could um, hit shift and then touch everything together, right click, group, and then they can just move the entire thing off to the side. Boom, there's one match. And then they'll go ahead and do it again here. They'll solve this equation. Here's the answer. Then they can shift click, right click, group, and they don't have to right click group, move that off to the side. So they can put their answers wherever they want. So um, the only thing you're not going to touch on this page is the student name. That's going to be where they type in their name. And then once the puzzle is complete, students can submit by either clicking the share button and um, email it to you or somebody else, or they can take a screenshot, or they can just have a sheet of paper where they write down that A is matched with eight, B is matched with six, and so on.